It's week nine of the NFL, and the focus of this one is on Odell Beckham Jr. There were no answers for him a week ago, going well over 100 yards with several stops in the end zone. It's the Ravens and the Hawks on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and M&T Bank Stadium. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup. We are all set to go as it will be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Raven team as they get ready here. They've got a full half season since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And you don't get on win streaks like this without your defense playing a big role. So here are the Ravens now as they get set for their opening possession. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And I think if you ask most folks to give you their first half MVP, very likely they're going to say it's this man right here. The NFL's leader in touchdown passes to this point in the season. Still two months to go. But if he can keep going to the pace he's at, it's going to be a dangerous team come January, and he could very well walk away with the MVP. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that's caught at the 25. It's a big play there for Baltimore. And even 70 yards. That last throw right there putting him already over 3,000 passing yards now for the campaign. And given where we are in the season, Brandon, you have to think to yourself, if he stays healthy, I think 4,000 is a given. I think 5,000 is not out of the question if he stays hot. Here we go now on first and goal. He'll look to throw. Here's for Becker, and he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. A great effort there. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Ravens get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see... their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. On the previous drive, he was able to hook up with Odell Beckham for the touchdown. And now here they go again, first down. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. Pushes past him. Pushes by another. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Not only an explosive play, but an explosive run. I mean, broken tackles along the way to pick up that yardage. The way things kept churning for him. Feet were moving. The legs were driving. Looks like someone who spent his offseason working out his whole work, running through sand. All the things that you want to build up those leg muscles. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Let's go now. Another run here with Dobbins. And fights through one man. And he'll get it inside the 35. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know the funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this game. 
It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Not quite enough to get into the end zone, but what a nice play there. He makes the catch, tries to turn up field and get to the pylon, but doesn't quite get there. But they're going to be set up with a first and goal from very short range. Edwards into a mass of bodies and I think they held him out they did now a pause and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance hopefully obviously nothing serious here medical staff though going to take a peek and we'll take a break Dobbins is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Rolling to his right. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Charlie Coder, his first touchdown on the year, and the Ravens have taken the lead. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well, and by association. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He's got two touchdown passes on his first two drives, and he'll try again here on drive three. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle of the back end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. A look in deep here for Flowers. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Oh, now Beckham as the first half is winding down. And the Ravens have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate 
about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like... So here are the Ravens to take over on offense. They've gone two months without a loss. Eight straight wins for them. And they've got the lead here in this one as well, trying to make it nine in a row. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Looking to throw. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Pete Carroll none too pleased with that last call. He's going to throw Previous out the challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Flushed out right. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Odell Beckham with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Ravens have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early, so now they're like season pro. captain of this offense heading back out there. He has been on his A game or in the third quarter. He's already in search of touchdown pass number five. He's played so well that it's hard for me to take my eyes off of him even when he's not on the field. I keep finding my eyes finding him on the bench in between series wondering what he's going to do next. This has been a blast to watch him play the position. Uh, he's been spectacular with those four touchdown passes. And they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 59 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. 
right back to Dobbins on first. Stays on his feet. Room here to run. Still on his feet. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins with his 13th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Ravens will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. I know I should keep the focus in the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs and keep possession of the football. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. They'll drop to throw. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. On play action, they'll throw. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he will have the first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's picking up play action. You've got everyone being in on the deal and picking it up. Second, third levels, you can see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. it past the 30, almost to the 25. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run with Dobbins. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. Here in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line. And here, they were able to hold the ball. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. 
And checking the timeouts. They do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road. But there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. score this many points it's a complete blowout but instead they needed every single one of those in this close high scoring affair and yeah, Brandon I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end that's not something we see very often and in this case these offenses they brought it the defenses they're gonna need some work going forward so for the Ravens, the train just keeps rolling 9-0 and now to start this campaign. And they'll get another home date next week as the Browns will come to town. Meanwhile, for Seattle, things are kind of getting ugly as they drop to 1-7 and now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.